What's happening? Hello world, and welcome to your very first SQL Server tutorial. My name's Johnny DeLuca, and thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel. I'm going to start today by teaching you how to assign a TCP IP port number to the SQL Server database engine. And then after we're done with that, I'm going to show you how to open a SQL Server instance port using Windows Firewall. I'm going to assume that everybody already has SQL Server installed on their machines and configured. If you do not and do not know how to do so, I'm sure there are tons of tutorials out there on how to do so. So go ahead and Google or YouTube that. Once you get that installed and configured, come back and see me. So to begin, without further ado, we're going to go to Start. We're going to go to All Programs. Microsoft SQL Server 2012 Configuration Tools SQL Server Configuration Manager And from here, this is what we're looking for right here uh, obviously, if this is not expanded, um, we're looking for protocols for MS SQL Server. We're going to click on that, and we're going to go over here to TCP IP. We're going to right-click that guy. We're going to click on Properties, and we're going to go up here to the IP Addresses tab, and here's where we would change it, TCP port. As you can see, it's set to 1433. This is the default port number that SQL Server always listens to on every version of SQL Server I'm aware of all the way back to 2000. Um, if you ever go on a job interview, you can almost bet that they're going to ask you what's the default port number that SQL Server listens to? 1433, write that down. If you get that one wrong, you probably flunked the job interview. And you certainly don't want to do that. So, now as you can see here, we have IP 1 through 9, I believe it is. Yep. And then at the very bottom, we have IP all. So if I wanted to change them all, I would specify what port number. Bingo, bango, bongo. Good to go. You can do one or a few or all nine. Um, say I did want to change the port number to whatever other number. After I did so, what I would want to do is I'd click OK here. But then I'd want to go up here to SQL Server Services. Click on that guy. And then go to this fourth one down to SQL Server, MS SQL Server, right click, and I would hit restart. I'm not going to do that right now because it's already running, so we're good there. But yeah, that's it in a nutshell. So that's how you assign a TCP IP port number to the SQL Server database engine. Real quick again, I'll walk you through it. We go to start, all programs, SQL Server 2012. Configuration Tools, Configuration Manager, wait a second, Protocols for MS SQL Server, right click TCP IP, click Properties, click the IP Addresses tab, and then change whichever one or all that you so desire, click OK. Go to SQL Server Services and double check and make sure that your SQL Server MS SQL Server is running. Alright, now I would like to show you how to open a SQL Server instance port using Windows Firewall. To do that, we go to Start and we're going to go to Control Panel. We're going to go to our Windows Firewall. From here, we're going to go to Advanced Settings right here. Then we're going to go to Inbound Rules, click on that guy. We're going to go to New Rule, over here on the right. Now we want to make sure our Port Radio button is selected. Click Next. We want to make sure that the TCP radio button is selected, which it is. And then we also want specific local ports selected. And here we type for the default instance 1433, or we would type in whatever other port we might want. We click Next. I'm going to make sure that uh, Allow the Connection is selected. Hit Next. 
and we want this to apply to domain, to private, and public. Hit next. And then right here, I've already done this, but I would put 1433, and then as far as the description, I know that that's the default port number, so I don't really need to describe it, but say this was a different one, I would want to put a description in there, and then click finish. So, again, real quick, I'll run you through that again. We go to start, oh, not all program, excuse me, start, and then control panel, Windows firewall, advanced settings, inbound rules, you can see it's already there because I've done this before, but then we go to new rule, make sure port is selected, click next, hit 1433, Next, 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 name it, describe it if you want, click finish, you've just taken your first step down the path to becoming a SQL Server Jedi Master. Um, I'm assuming that everybody for the most part that are watching these tutorials are probably in the beginner stages of SQL Server. And it's my intention that by the time you get done with all these tutorials that I'm recording, that you will have gone from a SQL Server noob to somebody that's totally comfortable with SQL Server and it's slinging job applications left and right like they're going out of style, applying at Microsoft, applying everywhere to be their next database administrator or SQL developer. So... May the force be with you. I hope you enjoy these tutorials as much as I'm having fun recording them. Uh, feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comments section here on my YouTube channel, and I will try to respond to them as soon as I possibly can. See you in the next tutorial.